God, good to see you again. You are blessed and highly favored. I want you to know that there is no power, powered enough to stop your destiny. But there's a mentality you must have, a consciousness you must not throw away. We are in the world, this world, the Bible says Satan is the god of this world. And you must know that as long as you are on earth, wickedness is real. Real, real. Be not deceived. Wickedness is real. But one thing that is sure is that more real is the reality of the gospel of Jesus. Every one of you must understand because dealing with matters, when we're talking about greatness with our struggle, it's important for you to note that there are enemies. There are enemies. There are enemies. You have to be conscious of it and live a pure life. If there are no enemies, why did he say, he said, if you break the edge, the serpent will bite. That means, as long as you stay within the confines of the edge, you are protected from the serpent. But there's a serpent. There's an edge that you must stay within. So every one of you get with the sound of my voice. I want you to note that righteousness still exhausts a nation and sin is a reproach to a people. What is the wisdom for exploits today? The wisdom is simple. Have this consciousness that enemies are real. They are real. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, For thou furnish a table for me, even in the presence of my enemies. So you can enjoy a furnished table in the presence of your enemies. It's the, it's the truth. How do you enjoy this? It's simple. Having an understanding of your God and staying within the leadings of the Spirit and doing the will of God via obedience can keep you safe. Living a prayer life, a sacrificial life, a covenant life, and be faithful to the details of God's scriptures makes you outstanding. I want you to know that there are enemies. He said, for thou furnish a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Every one of you will, will know and agree with me that in a competition, like in a football match, a stadium is packed out. Is it UEFA? Is it EPL? Is it a nation's cup? Is it local leagues? The stadiums are packed out. And the people who came to the stadium to watch you play, there are people who paid their money to watch you fail. And there are people who paid their money to watch you succeed. So for you to think in life that everybody wishes you well is to die like a chicken. So you must have a consciousness that as you make progress, there are enemies of progress. There are people who believe in your greatness. They will do everything to help you succeed. But there are people who are angry that why will you succeed? Imagine the people, 40 men binded themselves together and said they will neither eat or drink till they see poor die. Why? Envy and jealousy unnecessarily. Like I will often say to people, if everybody will mind their business, mind their business, this thing called greatness, there is no specifically designed for anybody. God is not a respecter of persons. What he does for one, he will do for another under the same frequencies. If you can practice the principle, you become a principal. Praise the Lord. I want you to know and to bathe. I want you to be conscious. Just know. That enemies are real. But more real is the reality of God's word, God's power, God's intervention, God's provision, as it were. Imagine a stadium. Everybody paid money to come to the stadium. This thing I'm talking about, mind your business. Just mind your business. That's what I'm talking about, mind your business. Listen to me. Nothing checks insult like result. Nothing silence argument like evidence. Produce results and the discussion will end. They said to Paul, Acts chapter 28, that this guy must be a witch. He escaped the sea. Now here comes the viper. But would you know what Paul did? He shook the viper into the fire. And at the end of it all, they said, he must be a god. So you must understand that there are people waiting to laugh. There are people waiting to, 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 to rejoice with you. Don't forget that they are good people. There are people who are there waiting for you to succeed as much as there are people waiting for you to fail. 
major on those who are dead for you to succeed and then do your best to succeed. That's what it takes to check those waiting for you to fail. Like I said, in a competition, at the end of the match, I was watching a football match. At the end of the match, at the end of the match, a people were rejoicing, another set of people were crying. And then it dawned on me that in life, not everybody that is watching you came to watch you succeed. There are people who came to watch you fail. If you look at you, we discover, look at this clip. You see people crying. And I ask myself, they are supposed to be happy that I won. Why are they crying? Because they didn't come to watch you win. They came to watch you fail. They came to watch you fail. So the way you play the game, the way you are determined, your pursuit to succeed, lift the trophy. Your fans will rejoice. Your enemies will cry. If you want your enemies to cry, refuse, refuse to give up on your goal. Because it is when you score the goal that your enemies will cry and your fans will rejoice. Keep pressing. Keep pushing. Keep pressing. There is a mark. Don't stop till you hit the mark. Because if you hit the mark on time, that is what it takes to silence this mouth of your enemies and make your fans rejoice. You are born to succeed. But just know that in the journey of life, there are enemies. Don't be scared. You have the ability to take them off. But one of the ways to check your mockers or anybody is to dare to succeed. I believe God with you that as you put everything in place, listen to me, pray, fast, think, study, inquire about anything that is in line with your success. He said, I've said before you, I mean, I've furnished a table for you in the presence of your enemies. You have the trophy, but there are enemies. Thou furnished the table for me in the presence of my enemies. He said, I've said before you an open door, but many are your adversaries. Many are the enemies. There's an open door, but there are enemies. Do your best. Fight your way through. Succeed. And the end is history. You'll be shocked that your mockers will become your prison. God bless you as you keep pushing. You are not a failure. You are a success. And until you succeed, I believe heaven will not rest. If you don't give up, you will come up because God never gives up on us. He's a good God, wonderful God. Your time has come. Get this wisdom that quitters don't win and winners don't quit. Get this wisdom that if you keep pushing, if you keep pressing, if you keep pushing, it will be a matter of time. You will become that which will be celebrated. Don't forget, he said the stone the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. You know why? Because even when they rejected the cornerstone, the cornerstone refused to reject itself. It is your conclusion of yourself that is the conclusion of the matter. You are not a failure. Seven times shall the righteous fall and seven times they rise again. Don't let your enemies have the last laugh. They can only have it if you quit. They can only have it if you give up. But when you keep pressing, they are scared because they can't tell what the strength of determination you have. I see greatness in you, but it can only come to pass if you refuse to quit. It is a new day, but just know, mind your business. Understand your business, mind your business, maximize your business, succeed in your business, and that's what it takes to make your enemies cry and let your fans celebrate. God bless you. Heaven will rejoice for your sake. Your family will rejoice. Your generation will rejoice because you refuse to quit. God bless you. You are the best in Jesus' name.